Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys. Good morning. Welcome back to the video. Minimum number of moves to capture the queen. This question has been asked in weekly contest 379 and we will see in very detail all the cases i have made all the diagrams for you specifically so as to make you understand is although there are multiple ways to implement it it's just that you have to make sure that you are covering all the cases and we will see the shortest possible code to cover all the cases i wrote eight cases for that but yeah you can just write them in three cases and that's it cool and let's see it says that we are given a n cross n chessboard now the simple chessboard as we have it's just an n cross n chessboard now we are also given six integers a b c d e and f now what this integer represents this integer represents that okay a and b are the coordinates of rook c and d are the coordinates of bishop e and f are the coordinates of queen now we want to know the minimum number of moves and in one move you can just move how a bishop or a rook moves in one move you can just move it okay let's say i can move in one move i can move my bishop horizontally or vertically in one move i can move my bishop diagonally so i can move my rook horizontally vertically i can move my bishop diagonally this is how my movements can be and my queen will remain fixed as it is i just want to know the minimum number of moves to just kill the queen so for sure one thing is for sure you can easily see that it is always 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 possible to kill my queen in two goes i can just get my get my uh, rook anywhere wherever he is i can get my rook i'll traverse it and i can kill my queen if my queen is static then there worst to worst case i can have in two ways in two ways i can kill in two operations i can kill my queen i can go horizontally and then vertically no matter whosoever is in my obstacle in worst case i can for sure kill my queen in two ways right if let's say if even i take here okay let's say here i just killed it but what if my bishop would have been here then also i would have came here here but what if my bishop would what would, would, like, would have been in the path of my rook then no worries i would have come from here itself but in the worst to worst case i can for sure kill my queen in two operations so one thing is for sure that my answer is at max two but 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 i want minimum number of steps or minimum of operations what is that that can be one either can be one or a z or two Two is the worst case then for sure one is the minimum case now what are the possible cases of one as we saw here also when my queen was in the path of my rook then he can for sure directly kill him or 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 when my bishop is in the path of my queen then also he can like the, my bishop can kill him my he can kill my queen same way my rook can kill my queen that is how i can go about but 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 is it that simple no what if what if you had your rook here you had your queen in the path as you can see it is horizontally here but bishop is in between then you know that bishop cannot kill your queen for sure because he can only move diagonally and also you can also not straightly travel so it is okay if you have obstacle because of your own team member which is bishop which means you have to take another another path so what i can do is okay um i will have to take some other path so in one operation i can move this bishop in one operation i can move this bishop out from my side and then in the next operation i can just kill my queen this is two operation required so so even if my rook is actually in a straight line either horizontally or vertically if it is in a straight line as that of my queen still i won't i i would be requiring two operations provided my bishop is between is in between and the same way for rook also that okay even if my even if i say that my my queen is directly in the path of my bishop but still i might not be able to kill it provided i i would be having a i would be having a rook in between my path so i will have to firstly remove him by using one operation and then kill my queen by using next operation so these are the only cases which i have to make sure to put them in my code now let's see how we'll put these cases in my code so 
as we saw that we will just make sure that firstly figure out the cases when uh, my when i can directly kill my queen so if i have my rook here the how can i directly kill my queen as in, in as in, like when i said directly i mean in one operation i can kill my queen if it is in my path how to know a queen is in my path now it can be either horizontally or vertically in my path right again I have only showed on the right side, but it can entirely imagine this chessboard as an entire grid. So it can be okay. My rook is in between, my queen is on the left, and my bishop is on the right. Like anywhere. So any coordinates, any anywhere. So we will have to handle all of those cases. So okay. So we know got to know that okay. My rook is here and how i know that my queen is in the same path or not let's firstly know na, ki my queen is on the same path or not by simply saying if i am on the same row which means my row number is same then for sure i am at the same horizontal row if my column number is same which is b and f it is same then i am in the same column okay that is great now with this in the same row same column i could have directly used one operation and could have killed my queen but provided i have to check that do i have my bishop in between now to check that there again how naively you can do is you can make cases you can get this distance out then you can just say okay uh, it is on the right side because again i am i am specifically mentioning that it is in in between my queen and rook at the same side Bhaiya. so what i can do is i can just get the distance out okay i can get the distance between my uh, my bishop and the rook and then I can get the distance between my queen and the rook. And then I can say if the distance is less, then for sure my bishop is in between. No. What if your bishop would have been on the left side? Then its distance would have been less, but still it is on the left side. So it would have not impacted your answer. So how to solve this without using if conditions are, is that you can just say, okay, I'll do, okay, I know that my bishop is in between. So it is on the, let's say, let's, let's imagine right side. Okay, let's imagine this as x coordinate positive x coordinates so it is, the x coordinates are increasing right like 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 this and same imagine for this y coordinates it is positive increasing increasing y coordinates now uh, i know that if my bishop is here i can compare them with the bishop itself so bishop is here i'll just say okay if to know the distance between my rook and my bishop it is d minus b now it will be for sure positive. Okay, it will be for sure positive because considering it is a positive x-axis. Now, as I know that my queen is after my bishop, so if I do a d minus f, then that will be for sure negative, right? Because I know it is after, it is after. So d, d is less, f is more. So d minus f will be negative. So for sure, the multiplication of them will be negative. Multiplication of them will be negative. So with this, now bhaiya, okay, this is you showed on the right side. What about the left side? Yeah, in left side, what will happen? This will be negative and this will be positive. So you, with this one condition, you will be able to handle in horizontal case, either, either your bishop is bit in, in between the rook and the queen on the right side, or your bishop is in between the queen and the rook on the left side. So with this one condition itself, you can handle that. So now we have this reached a conclusion that okay, if my a is equal to e, if my a is equal to e, which means I am on the same row, if my a is equal to c, which means my bishop is also on the same row, and also my bishop is in between my rook and my queen, then for sure all the operation required would have been for although for this particular uh, rook operation required would have been one because it is in the same row but because of bishop being in between operation required are actually two and the same exact same way i can do this for doing vertical as you can see i just firstly figured out okay it is in the same column so my b and f are same my b and f are same and also my b and d are same d is the rooks column so it is it is also my rook is also in the same column sorry uh, my bishop is also also on the same column then i'll just check is my bishop in between my rook and my queen yeah i'll just say a c minus a c minus a will be for sure positive a c minus e will be for sure negative considering my bishop is in between then this product will always be negative and the same way this will be replicated if i would have my rook here my bishop here and my queen here then also the product would have been negative so that's how with this just one condition i can solve it so i have seen that okay 
if I am on the same row or on the same column, then if I am on the same row, then and also my bishop is on the same row and also my bishop is in between my rook and my queen, then I will have a two as my steps. If I am on the same column and my bishop is also on the same column and also my bishop is in between my rook and my um, queen, then I will return a true. Else, if my bishop is not in, or not in between, then I can simply return a one considering my rook and my queen are either in the same row or in the same column. Then I can simply return my one. As you can see also, yeah, as you can see, your bishop is not in between, but your queen is in the same row as that of the hook, uh, rook. Um, so I'll just say, okay, I'll just simply have one operation or one step to kill my queen. Okay, that is the case when you can actually kill your queen in one step via your rook. But what about to kill the queen in one step via bishop? So, same way, it should be in the same diagonal. Now, how to know the diagonal? As simple as that, diagonal, it can be same when your x and coordinates, x and y coordinates are same, then your diagonal will be same, right? Okay, I know that I can simply check my x and y distance. If this x and y distance, again, it's an absolute distance because it's, I just need to say, okay, if this distance is same, then for sure, for sure, um, I will have equal. So, my I, I will be at the diagonal. So, okay, if it is same, then I am at the diagonal. Now, if I am at the diagonal, again, the same case for him. What if my rook is also on the diagonal? So, I will just check for the rook also. If my rook is also on the diagonal, so it is C minus A and D minus B absolute value. Just checking, okay, is my rook also on the diagonal? Yeah. Okay, if it is same, which means my rook also is on the diagonal. But, Again, rook can be diagonal also on the hair itself. So, it would have not affected me. But I should have to check. If rook is on the diagonal, okay, that is the condition which I have checked. But also, rook should be in between my bishop, bishop and my queen. So, I, for that, I will do the same, same logic. Uh, that I will just check, okay. This distance, b minus f, as you can see, it is a positive x coordinates. So, this is, so this distance, b minus f, f will be positive. And if my if my bishop is on the right side, so it will be b minus will be negative. So the multiplication will always be a negative. So this will be a negative. So it can handle if my bishop is in between. Sorry, if my rook is in between my queen and my bishop. And the same way, this can be handled provided I have, let's say my queen is here, my rook is here and my bishop is here. Let's say still they are in the diagonal. Then I have to verify if my rook is in between my bishop and my queen then still which means it is a rook it is my bishop so still i can use the same condition for this because again one distance will be positive and one distance will be negative and this is how i can simply get this sort again the only best part about this explanation is firstly the firstly the diagrams and secondly this piece of code which can actually make your code very 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 short and again um, what if bhaiya it is not in the my, my rook is not even in the diagonal itself or if it is in the diagonal then it is outside my range in any ways whatsoever i can directly kill my queen in just one way i can simply return a one so same way like the condition okay my bishop my bishop and my queen are on the same diagonal this is the, the condition right here okay if they are if they are okay then i will go and check if my bishop and my rook are also on the same diagonal and also my bishop my rook is in between my queen and bishop then i will have to return a two else i can simply return a one now ultimately uh, whatsoever other case as i told you whatsoever other case in the worst to worst case i can for sure kill my queen in just two steps by just moving my uh, rook in just up and then or i can just move here and then here in worst two ways i can for sure kill my queen in just two steps and that's how my final answer can be too so that's how you can simply solve it um just these three conditions i'll show you the code um as you can see so this is first condition when your actual when your rook and your queen are on the same horizontal or vertical length it's just that verifying that is your bishop also in between your rook and your queen else it's a one second condition is, is your if your if your bishop and your queen are on the same diagonal and also verifying that if your rook is in between your bishop and your queen 
then okay it's a two else it's a one and the and in the last no matter what you can always get your answer in two steps and that's how the answer is either a one or a two i hope that you guys got it again it's not an easy equation for sure because it involves cases which you have to handle you can have many wrong answers in it that's the reason i just discussed it because then you're gonna do it again thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next video until then goodbye take care